One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Da 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 da. I always Pop miss that. that. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> You've got your all down today. Look what's happened to us over the bloody years. Look at you. Actually, the same haircut, but well, it was me. it was over twenty years ago, wasn't it? Oh my so it has god! To be I don't even think about it. Now this is me now. Right, not much. You, you've got your hair down there, so you can flick it, can't you? <laughs> like they do movies. <laughs> The voluptuous, a few extra pounds or perhaps stone, but there you go. Yeah. Old age. A decade or two years added on. <laughs> <laughs> That's awful, isn't it? When we decide to do this show, right, they, people mm -hmm. are going to ask, why are two little fat old Asian women going to give us cookery tips? So I think you should do a little bit on the credential side. Just a bit, right, because... So Oh, somebody joining us then? Because I can see one fat little old lady looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need your glasses changed, you know. <laughs> Just is coming to take me the optician in an hour's time. So it's yeah, well, there you go. There you go. And then you'll see two little fat old ladies. <laughs> okay. Carry on. Well, the... why, why should we? Why do you think we why? should be? Hmm. Because we are absolutely super. We were the original Spice Girls. We were the ones who started teaching people like Bruno Le Bear and um, it's he won't like it. Several other very well-known chefs who we keep on the good side of. Um, <laughs> how to even use garlic and ginger. 20 years ago, remember this? It's uh, funny actually because um, I was looking at some of our old programs the other day. Uh -huh. And really, they don't look dated, you know. And the things that we were doing there, people are doing now. All right, I, I said it doesn't look dated. We look dated. <laughs> Something else. Say, you better go get some glasses. I think the things that fast forward on the different ways that people live then and now, uh, it's actually back again because of the lockdown. You know, the yeah. coronavirus has made us be far more healthy, less dependent on fast food because we can't go out and shop. Yeah. So basically what we are trying to do is to ensure a whole new generation can cook fast, can cook good, get authentic taste of Sri Lanka. Yeah. And just know that, you know, some life is too short to grate a coconut. Right. <laughs> Bye. Bye, night, folks. See you soon, darling. Bye. Darling. You know, that's the basis of all the Sri Lankan curry. What we've got here is cumin seed and coriander. And the coriander is usually twice the amount of the cumin seed. Okay. Uh, then we've got mustard seed, black mustard seed. This is fennel, fennel seed. This is fenugreek. And you you know already, you don't yeah, use much of fenugreek. Yeah, yeah, because what happened to yours? Bitter. <laughs> very bitter. If you use too much of that, it gets very bitter. This is just plain raw rice. And that gives a, a very distinctive flavor as well. Then we've got curry leaves. And, you know, I, I was very, very lucky because I found a shop in Calibes that ordered these things for me. Curry leaves, you can't get over here anyway. But she managed to get curry leaves for me. And she also got this, which is pandanus leaf. Oh. Yeah, pandan. Yeah. Yeah, and Sri Lanka. In Sri Lanka, they call that rumpe. And that is a very individual taste. And then... If you haven't got that, you know, it still makes good curry. 
It still makes a nice curry. It still tastes a bit like Sri Lanka, but not 100% authentic. That's Go all. back to the rice, though, because I saw that in some recipes. I thought that was for the consistency. I thought it was to make it thicker. That's it, but does that add flavour as well? Okay. It does add flavour. So we've got the, the curry leaves over there, and this is just black peppercorns, right? Mm. And these things in the middle here, which is cinnamon and chilies. Now, the Sri Lankan chilies are usually long and red and dried and not, not as hot as the ones we're using now. We're using uh, bird chili because okay. I couldn't get the Sri Lankan one. Mm. Um, that's uh, cloves, whole cloves, and that's cardamom inside the, the, the pods. And those don't have to be uh, tempered. They don't have to be uh, cooked, rather. They don't have to be roasted, okay? But the other things do. And you have to, I know some people do put them all together and put them in an um, oven, but it's not a good idea because these cook at different times, right? They'll brown at different times. So in order to get, say, the fennel leaf, which takes, uh, the fennel seed, which takes a bit longer, mm -hmm. in order to get that brown, you're going to burn probably the, the, the um, jira, the human seed. So it goes into a dry pan, which has been heating, and I take the first ingredient in. So I always start with the cumin because they're sort of like the most delicate, actually. They tend to catch quickest. And you can smell it. The minute it hits a hot pan, you can start to smell the aroma. Can you smell it over there? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. So there we are. It's a little bit brown now. Can you see it's roasted? You see the smoke. Yeah, and you can hear. You can hear it popping, can't you? Mm -hmm. And I just tip it into a container because let it cool off as well. We're going to grind all these. You and then dry. <laughs> Hmm? Do you do it without oil? Do you do it no, without oil. Without oil. Oh. oil at all. Ah, that's where I went wrong. That's where oh, did you? Did you yeah. put oil? No. Yeah, when I did no. my fenugreek. I just... Right. <laughs> so this is the coriander going in now. I'm going to turn the fire down a little bit because it's been on a while. So it's really hot. The pan's really, really hot. And this will take, well, I don't know, not even a minute, I would think. You can tell when it's ready by the smell. It starts getting quite strong. There you are. Okay, so we check those in. Now we do the mustard. Did you say it was quantities? Is it equal amounts? Or? No, there are different amounts, but it'll be on the recipe, which we're going to put on the, I think, Facebook page, we said. Okay. So it, the only thing that... I remember very strongly, obviously, is the fact that um, with Sri Lankan curry powders, the coriander is double the quantity of the cumin. That's it. So it's getting, I can smell it. Can you smell it over there? All right, so this is fennel. Fennel in. You chuck it all in. It's very similar to something called dill, and we use dill as well, but dill and fennel, a lot of people sort of mix them up together, they're not the same thing at all. I'm picking wild fennel here in spring. It goes yeah. all over the place. Yeah. You, the, the Greeks use a lot of dill as well in their cooking. Well, it's the same thing, they make fennel pie, don't they? Fennel, yeah. And that's got quite nice and brown. Chop that in. And <coughs> I put the, I can put the rice and the fenugreek in because, well, it doesn't take that much difference in time. All we want is the rice to get just a little bit coloured, really. It's not rice has much on you, really. No, I, I think it does. It has a, a, a definitely sort of nutty thing. It's getting slightly golden now. Can you see it, Jeff? Yeah? Yep. There you go. I would never have thought of it with rice into oh, the... Really? <laughs> I've only ever seen it in Sri Lankan recipe. Uh, to add the rice to the powder. Yeah. Mm. Right. Now that's light brown. That's fine. The curry leaves will take no time at all. So I can stick those in at the same time as a rumpe because they're all leaves, right? Rumpe this pandanus <coughs> is used a lot in Southeast Asia, not just for curries, but they use it for flavouring desserts, um, pastries. You know, you know how I used to make the, like the biryani, the rice and the 
Oh yeah. What was that? Was that not a that, that was rum fry, darling, which is it's uh, very interesting, right? It's it's of Dutch origin. Because oh, you know that in Sri Lanka we have <laughs> the Dutch, the Portuguese, yeah. the English, uh, Malays, we have so many influences in there, and Indian of course. Um, and the Dutch had this dish which is called, I don't know how to pronounce it, but we call it lump fry, which is uh, rice and curry basically, different types of curries and, and um, meatballs, lots of little spicy things, all wrapped in a, a banana leaf. And then you put some coconut milk on the top of it and you wrap it all up. It's a really good party dish. Sounds great. Absolutely. Really yeah, and you've good. got your dish there as well, the banana leaf. Yeah. Then you stick it in the oven to warm up. And actually, we'll be doing that later on in the series. Mm, It'll be the finale, actually. <laughs> Wait all... until the last one. Yes, you'll have, to... <laughs> you have to watch all six in order to get to know how to do that. <laughs> Clever, isn't it? <laughs> there's a hook. Right, so there's the peppercorns. There they are. All right, so really, we've done everything we need to brown off. And we just need to brown these now. Do you want to have a go? No. Oh, <laughs> there's my daughter. It's a bit natural. Felicia, okay. what we're just going to do now is just grind them all together. Mm -hmm. Okay, smaller quantities, obviously. It's going to be very noisy. This this grinder is so old that I don't even know how old it is. It's like a vintage. Um, yeah, it's an heirloom. But it works. As long as it works, it's got a place in my kitchen. Right. Are you ready? Can you smell it? Yeah, it's wonderful. Isn't that brilliant? Now what I'll do... Mm. Beautiful. Is... A lot of Sri Lankans will use it just as it is. But I, I, I don't like the pieces in it, so I always sieve it first. And then at the end, I will use what's left over and sip it again. <laughs> That's why he's only hanging around for the I know he is. <laughs> right, sip. What my life is about, Chani, cheap, cheerful, canned, fast, because I really can't be bothered half the time. But I need to put good, hot, fresh food on the table. Yeah. So cheap, right? You do all the really wonderful things that you always do. You've got access to wonderful, fresh vegetables and meat and everything else. You've got the sunshine. You know, Crete is the most beautiful place. It is. Um, um, yeah, we are lucky. Yeah. So you use all those ingredients and I'll just have to make do with what I can find in the kitchen cupboard. Okay. But basically what we are trying to do is to ensure a whole new generation can cook fast, can cook good, get authentic taste of Sri Lanka. You've got chicken wings, which is quick and easy for the uh, nurses because they were eating it in the hospital. I obviously had to use cut chicken, but this is more economical and the kids will love it. So you see I put salt and pepper, just give it a quick blast. And while that's doing, you see this? This is what we've just made. Cut the tomatoes up. Once we finish frying off the chicken, this is only to give it a brownie. Now, the one trick I'll always say to you is that you should always soak your meat. Whatever you're using, meat or vegetables, leave it in the um, fridge overnight. All the whatever seasons you've got will soak right into the second, into the heart of it. And that means that your cooking will be much faster. As I said, the pressure cooker should finish this in five minutes time. Next, what we're gonna do, one tablespoon of Chandra's curry powder. This is special Sri Lankan curry powder, which is roasted. We stick in our curry paste. Now what I would have done is when I was cooking for the nurses, I would have taken the tomato and the curry powder and that, fried it up until it was a thick, gluey, um, like a very thick sauce and frozen it. But because we haven't got time to go through all of the steps, 
I'm cooking it exactly the way with the meat. So all of that's gone in. Look what's happening to it here. And the smells are quite quite amazing already. We're just chucking our chucking our tomatoes. If we'd been making a curry paste and frozen it, of course, then that would have been just tipping it straight in, the tomatoes and all, everything into the blender. Mm. The curry paste has, of course, all sorts of wonderful things with um, our, our very curry leaves and with pandanus, all the Sri Lankan herbs. Because we haven't got it in England, um, I'm using bay leaf just to put up with it. But you can actually now find it through all sorts of mail order. And it's well, if you really want Sri Lankan, that's how you should do it. Lots and lots and lots of pepper. A glug of vinegar. Because we've fried off the chicken and we're going to put the tomatoes in as well. All the sauce goes in together. Like I said, if you fried it all down and made it into a paste, and stuck it in the freezer into little blocks. All you do is throw it in after you fry the chicken. This is straightforward potatoes, just ordinary, cut up into little chunks. That'll take three minutes in the pressure cooker. Where does it come away? Got salt. For those who never used a pressure cooker, buy one. <laughs> it's my standby, go-to, cook fast, easy, absolutely delicious. So this is how it's looking. You see? What does it smell like, Kath? Mm, Good. Nice, yeah. Doesn't smell like an Indian curry, does it? No. That's because all our uh, seasonings are all roasted and there's lots and lots of wonderful goody things in there. Mm. Now, what I will do is, this is coconut powder. You can buy coconut powder. You don't have to have it. If you haven't got it, don't worry. I'll just put it in just for a bit of flavour. And I think that's about ready. the lid on it once that's done. For those who don't know how to use a pressure cooker, you close it like that and you leave it. And then you leave it until it hisses. The minute it hisses, you put the knob on, which I forgot to bring. Oh, so no. that's a good one. <laughs> Turn it. The one thing I forgot to bring. The oh my god, I'm going to get it off. I'll go and get it. No, you can't do yeah, that. Yeah, I can. No, you can't. Just turn it off, Johnny. programs <laughs> you were doing a soup it was a Chinese one and as usual you couldn't get the the blender to work it's a trouble you can't oh. talk while it's on yeah. what are you doing then Chani well I'm just going to chop up all these chop all the oh this is a good one isn't it I'm going to pulse this look can you see it going down and don't tell me it's not hot enough it's not hot enough Well, this is interesting, they're watching mm -hmm. paint dry, isn't it? Mm -hmm.